Hey guys, I got in a small tabletop fire pit to share with you here. I've actually had this about five months or so. Um, I learned of these from Brian Waters Outdoors channel. Um, back in like around Thanksgiving time, he put out a video. Um, they were having some type of deal on their website. So I actually bought this for $49 and something. Um, I think on the 26th of November. And I'm just now getting around to kind of getting it opened up. And But anyways, he spoke really highly of them. Um, he's used it dozens of times on some of his camping trips. And so I figured we'd do a quick unboxing. I'll show you all the contents that it comes with. Go over some of the features and specifications of it. Um, we'll probably throw some pellets or some wood in it. Um, and give you guys my thoughts on it. So before we pull everything out, we'll just kind of go quickly around the box. There's some of the specs on it. Probably go over some of that stuff too. And there are some of the things that we're gonna get with it, but let's get this thing opened up. I'm excited to use it and try it out. So this is how it's packaged. It looks like up on top. We have like a silicone mat that's actually really thick. Uh, so you're going to put this down first and then you're going to set the fire pit down on that. So it's kind of like a, a fireproof mat so it doesn't damage whatever surface it's on. So then we have, this is like your flame ring or the top ring. And again, this is all stainless steel and I'll go over all the details later. but. Uh, this appears to be like maybe like a carry bag. You can see how everything is packaged in here. This is a central column. I'll show you what it's for and how it gets installed and stuff. It looks like we have the main fire pit in here. Again, I'll show you all this once I get all the bags and stuff off. It is packaged really well, probably instruction manual. And then we have like a base or a stand down in here. And I believe that's everything. So I open up that little pamphlet thing and this is what was in it. So there's a manual. Um, it looks like it has a three year warranty. Certificate of Authenticity, and then just some QR codes that you can get to their social media sites. So setting this up should be fairly straightforward and easy. Again, we have this silicone pad that is branded. So that would go down first. And then we'll have the stand will actually go second here. And this feels like it might be some kind of I don't think it's cast iron. It's got a bunch of stuff falling off of it, but it's definitely not the stainless steel like the other stuff. Like there's some weight to this, but then that's going to go down on top of your silicone mat. And then on top of that, you're going to have the actual fire pit, which is stainless double wall. So your flames are going to come up through here. So air comes in down here going to come up through here and then your flames this is how you get the smokeless fire pit but that's going to sit down on top of that and then we have an ashtray that actually goes down inside so you're going to put your wood or your pellets or whatever are going to sit on this so this just drops down in here so it's going to look like that so next would be the central column you do not have to use this if you don't want to. Um, this just kind of adds another burn. Uh, so you get like a third burn and it adds a different kind of flame uh, to what you're doing. But this here will basically just sit down in this here and it'll line up just like that there. You can see that. So it does reduce the amount of pellets or the amount of wood that you can put in there. Um, so you won't get quite the same burn time if you're using this. And it's falling just because I'm holding it up like this for you. If you set it up right, it doesn't do that, obviously. 
And then the last thing that would go on is the flame ring. And I've seen a lot of videos where people actually put these on upside down. They think that it goes like this in here, but it, it does not. You want this to be up like this, and then it goes on like that. So that's what it completely assembled will look like. And then the last thing would be that little carry bag. This does feel a little bit on the cheaper side, but it is branded, but that's fairly thin material. Obviously you would never put this in here hot. You have to wait till it completely cools. And then it has like a little cinch thing on it to pull it tight. Um, no handles anywhere on it. But again, this thing is, you know, fairly lightweight, but no handles on the bag. Get you guys some dimensions on this. So from your table to the very top of the flame ring up here, you're probably at like 10 and a half inches. Um, a width, you're probably at like just over seven inches. Let's see if it's any different the other direction. It may be. Uh, same thing, maybe seven, seven and a half inches. And we'll grab a weight of everything. This is includes that center column is in it right now. Uh, let's switch that to pounds. So four pounds, five ounces. If we add that silicone mat, four pounds, 12 ounces. So after doing some reading, the actual fire pit and the flame ring and the center column thing, all of this is 304 stainless steel and that stand is made out of aluminum. So I'm gonna take this outside, uh, get some pellets in it and then kind of get ready for this evening uh, to light it up. If you leave a little center column in, you can put just under three pounds of pellets. Um, if you remove it, you can do just over three pounds. I'm gonna leave it in just so we can get the third burn. Um, the other thing is just don't cover your wood or pellets above those holes. You don't really have to weigh it out or measure anything. Just put it in and leave it below the holes. All right, got some pellets. Uh, these are just the premium hardwood pellets. Uh, these came from Tractor Supply. Uh, it's a 40 pound bag and I think they were like five dollars and something uh, so again if if we can put three pounds in this I think this will burn close to an hour we'll we'll find that out for sure uh, but this should give us what like 12 to 13 fires out of just one bag of pellets and again the way I'm gonna do it I, I'm just gonna dump them in there and make sure I just don't fill up above the holes I'm going to go ahead and get this fire pit lit up here. Um, again, if you don't want your flames to be real high, don't add as many pellets. And if you don't want it to burn for, you know, 50 minutes to an hour, don't fill it all the way up either. And I just have a couple like tumbleweed fire starters in there right now. And I'll bring you guys back once the pellets actually kind of get lit and going. All right, so this has been going for probably eight minutes or so. And you can see the secondary burn right now. It's coming, the flames are coming out of those top holes. It kind of gives it a kind of different look. So what I'll do is kind of monitor this. And if I start seeing the third burn, I'll bring the camera back and show you guys that. And again, this is stainless steel. Um, so there is some soot up there that'll wipe off, uh, but you are gonna get some patina. You can already see a difference between that, that top ring versus the body, but even the body will get some of that patina. And every single person's will actually look different. That's what's kind of cool about these and the solo stoves and similar ones.
So as far as feeling the warmth from the fire, my chair is only like two or so feet away, uh, but my chest and head is probably at least four feet away. I can definitely feel it on my upper body. I cannot feel it at all, like on my knees or below. Um, so you may want to use a lower table. So the heat definitely rises with these. Um, it's almost still cool enough to touch down here. In fact, it is cool enough to touch, no problem at all. But again, it's still kind of the top of the pellets that are burning. Um, so as the fire gets lower, I'm sure the sides of this will get hotter. Uh, but I probably would recommend maybe a slightly lower table so that you get more of the heat coming from it on your whole body. So this has been going for probably a half hour, 35 minutes now. Um, I can still see there's a lot of pellets left in there. I don't even think we're halfway done. So I think this is definitely going to go over an hour. Um, I'm starting to see fire coming out of the holes in that center column. So I think that's the third burn on it. Uh, but we'll again look at that later on once it really kind of gets down. And again, you don't have to use pellets in these. You can use branches or sticks or twigs, uh, wood chunks, whatever. I'm just using pellets because they don't spark. So this has been going for just over an hour and the flame just kind of went out. I'd say it's still at least a third full of pellets and they're still burning down in there. You just can't see the flame anymore. All right, it's the next morning. Um, I really just want to check to see how much ash is still left in here or unburnt pellets. Uh, when that flame went out, it was still probably a third full. Um, I came back out an hour or so later and it was still like hot embers. And so I think it did burn down quite a bit. But I'm going to take that flame ring off. We'll pull that center column out. And then, yeah, it's pretty much burnt down to almost nothing. So that's what's left right there. Honestly, just a little bit of ash. So even though there wasn't a flame, it continued to burn for quite some time. And I could have continued to add pellets to it, obviously, to keep the flame going. But I really just wanted to see how like one time full how long it would burn so i've only used this little fire pit the one time uh, but i'm really liking it i think that the overall build quality is excellent i think it's as good as solo stove and it's half the price and as you can see i do own a solo stove as well this fire pit here is comparable to the solo stove mesa xl um, those come in around a hundred dollars or so and some of the colors that they make can be even more expensive than that And like I said, I paid 50 bucks for this one um, Even on Amazon right now, they're sixty dollars As I mentioned before I thought it had really good burn time I used about three pounds of pellets and it burned for probably an hour or just the right about that and again, I could have continued to add some pellets to it and just kept the fire going, you know, as long as I wanted. But I really just wanted to check it and see how long it would last just one fill. The thing is very compact and lightweight, easy to move around. Some of the larger fire pits, uh, like the Solo Stove Bonfire or Yukon, those things are huge and really heavy and can be kind of difficult to move around. And especially not portable, like in your car and stuff like that. This here, you can literally take anywhere with you. I thought that it had a very clean burn. Um, obviously, I was only using pellets, and I do think that if you used wood chunks, that there's probably going to be a little more smoke. Um, but the flames get so hot inside that it kind of burns the smoke off. Um, but overall, like, you know how sometimes you're at a campsite and you sit down and the smoke just comes right in your face? And then you move your chair to a different spot and it seems like the smoke comes into your face there. You really don't have that uh, with this little East Oak. It actually had a really impressive flame. Um, it didn't put off a ton of heat, but you could feel it. Um, 
but it just gives you a really nice ambiance, just kind of watching the flames kind of dance around. And when I say it didn't put off a ton of heat, I mean like sitting back a few feet from it. You could feel it, but not a lot. But the heat on top of it was, you know, like a normal fire. Like you could definitely do a marshmallows, roast them on it. If you wanted to do hot dogs, you could probably even put like a small little like grill grate over top of that and, you know, cook up a hamburger or something like that if you wanted to. It does get plenty hot for that. Now using pellets, you're not going to get that normal crackle um, sound that you get with using wood chunks uh, but you also don't get any of the popping like the embers popping out of it so personally I'm gonna stick with using pellets because I am using it on a wooden deck as well um, but speaking about that the base here never got hot at all I wouldn't recommend it but you could have picked this up and moved this around while it was burning um, so yeah this area here never got hot so just a few other thoughts before we close this video out. They market these as stainless, and I do understand it's made out of a stainless steel material, but they're not stainless. Obviously, after just one burn, they start staining different ways. They also market these as smokeless, and they're not completely smokeless. Um, they do smoke less than normal fire pits, um, but like the next day, um, when I opened up my closet and the hamper, I could smell campfire still. It wasn't as intense as what normally is, but you could smell it. I would like to see them include some kind of lid to where you could potentially like pull the ring off here and then set a lid here to kind of ex extinguish everything. Um, it's unlikely, but there is a chance that wind can come through here and blow hot ash or embers out of this. And so... I would have liked it last night whenever I got done using it just to be able to put something on top and walk away and know that the fire is contained in there. And the last thing I'd like to see maybe improved is a better quality bag. Uh, this bag really is kind of cheap and junk compared to the, the rest of the fire pit, which is really nice. But when you can, there's almost no comparison between like the thickness and the durability of that solo stove bag. This is not much better than a grocery bag, this one here. But overall, I do really like it and would highly recommend it. And I will leave an Amazon link down in the video description if you guys want to find out more information on them or pick one up. So all right, if you found the video helpful or informative in any way, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And that's going to be it on this one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.